channel. Welcome to all my groupies. If you don't know who a groupie is, say hello, you become a groupie. Um, hi Sue, how are you? Uh, Barb, another great night. Yeah, I've got a lot of surprise for you tonight. Uh, Julie, Dizzy, um, Bindi's groupies, wet and wild. Yeah, it's a bit wet down here too. Anne, how are you? Yvonne, lovely to see you. Hi Joanne and Helen, how are you sweetie? Lovely to see you guys in here. So, what's happening with his HQ? Um, yeah, so last week I left Thursday afternoon after I did all the posts and got things happening and Narelle didn't get her four days off, no. Uh, I got down as far as close to Port Macquarie and the car broke down. So I was on the side of the Pacific Highway and um, I got put up in a motel for the night. It's been a lovely day in Melbourne. Oh, lovely Yvonne. Um, hi Gail, hi Karen, hi Anne-Marie. Um, yeah, so I didn't quite make it to where I wanted to go. Spent a night at Port Macquarie Motel and then sat for eight hours in the mechanics waiting for the car to get fixed. So I drove back home. Poor old Melbourne went into lockdown again. Um, so I hope you guys are all getting out tonight. Um, hi Therese. Um, you're getting out tonight, so that's really cool. Um, and uh, let's all stay safe as we do. At least you're home safe and sound. I am home um, and the headspace went a bit weird because I was looking forward to this few days off of nothing and it didn't happen. So I'll try again in a few more weeks. Um, so lots have happened while I've been home. Uh, anyway, any, any, the only way I can get through a bit of a letdown is actually work harder. Um, so I have put out some brilliant stuff for you this time. Um, I've got a new pattern. So let's have a look at the quilt. Um, oh, before we do, anyone's new on there, don't forget three S's. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit that notification bell. Stalk me on Facebook and Instagram and don't forget to share the post. If you're in a quilting group or any um, sewing group or your friends just love to do it, hello Doreen. If your friends just love to do it, just let them know that we're here um, because I've got some exciting news coming up. All right, let's have a look at this quilt. What do you think of this one? I've called it Cube Play. There we go. It's lovely kids. You're up to some kids quilts. So this one is done with the traditional little baby's blocks but there is no Y seam. Ooh. All right, so this one I've done with the little aeroplanes. Um, you like this one, Yvonne? All right, let me get the pattern up. Now I have, yeah, the, it's not quite long enough to cover what's behind my machine where it's all the threads and everything and all my bits and pieces, but you get that. This is my little workstation. So here is the pattern, cube play. All right, um, hi Nina, how are you? It is 54 and a half by 57. I always say approximately because we all work with different machines and your quarter inch seam could be out slightly. It's not out by you, it's just you and me have different things. Um, so it can slightly differ. Um, so that's why it's approximately. All right, so cube play. Hi Zena, how are you tonight, sweetie? All right, so it is done using, and I forgot to pick up some, oh, I'll just pick up one of these kits and just pull it in here. Hi Debbie, how are you? You like this new pattern? Wait till you see it, it is amazing. All right, let me just pull out here. So this is a kit. This is all you need, okay? It's got some two and a half inch strips for that. No Y seams, I did one years ago and said never again. Oh, wait for this one, Dizzy, it's great. Just what I need from your new grandson. Beautiful, Karen. Um, Hi Jenny, how are you? So we've just got some marbles, we've got some solids. These are just to do your little triangles at the bottom and the border. And then this one's got some planes. I'll run through all the other kits I've put together for you. So I'm gonna pull this one apart because uh, I didn't bring one here with me. I've got them cut up, but I didn't bring it with me. All right, so you're gonna get them. And what you're gonna do, let me just pull this one out. So you're gonna grab your five inch strips. Hi, mum, how are you? Mum's on board. All right, so you're gonna pull that out. And and uh, Julie, you noticed Narelle was quilting this at 11 o'clock last night in the shop. Shop wasn't open, um, but it's been quilted, bound. It's a whole thing's done. Aren't you, are you impressed? Um, see, give me some time off where I'm not allowed to have time off and look what happens. Um, good to see you made it out of bit. I didn't get there, Glennis. Um, car broke down on Thursday, spent the night in Port Macquarie, drove home Friday, honey. Didn't make it to Victoria um, because it actually went into lockdown on Friday. So I'm gonna try again in a couple of weeks. All right, so we're gonna get some five inch strips. Now, for the um, blocks that are the print and the darker one, Oh, I'll go this way, the print and the darker one. You can actually cut them, <laughs> thanks Julie. Um, you should see the pile that they're doing. Um, you can leave them folded in half. New grandson, Karen, oh, how exciting, yes, definitely. Um, for leave them folded in half. Now let me pop this down here. 
and see if it works. I'm on the iPad tonight. The iPad did an upgrade. Norelle's got MBN now. Woo I'm not going to sew these guys. I'm just going to show you how to do them. Okay. So you've got your, um, your strip. Okay. Get that out of the way. All right. You're going to start with the selvage on here. And you're going to use the great 60 degree ruler. All right. The triangle one. If you've got one of these, these are so amazing. that I've got so many different things coming out using these rulers. So um, if you don't, it's not a stress issue. Let me grab one of my other rulers that's in this pile behind me. All right. You can always find your 60 degree um, angle. That's that one there. All right. Your 60 degree. And you can use that. All right. But it's so much easier when you've got one of these rulers. So basically, you're just going to sit it down with the 60 degree. You're going to pop it on. And you're just going to cut it up. All right, to get the love, then get rid of the selvage edge. All right, and what you're going to do, let me throw him away. So then, oh, no, I didn't want to put that. Yeah, here, yeah, we'll go back here. All right, so when we take that away, you're going to get this angle here. I'm just going to pop that right there so you can see. All right, so that's where I have, bring it into shot. That's where I've cut it just now. Sure. All right, then you just flip it over. All right, and you'll cut again. And then you're going to actually leave that that way i'll have to leave that there so you can see the angle um and you just keep going so that you only cut this side okay and that will give you that shape um you get six out of each one of these which is great all right and this will give you the parallelogram it's a bit hard to say but it's the parallelogram uh one of it so that's your print and it, they're not opposites okay it doesn't matter they're not opposites so you don't have to worry about that when you're cutting the top of them, all right? So the top cuts cut into triangles. But when you do this strip, do not leave it folded, okay? You need to open it up. So it'll be done with just the lighter color. You'll open the whole strip and you will get the 12 triangles out of it. In that turn, you will go one here, one there, and you just keep turning it and cutting out your triangles. Now, when you cut them out with this, you will get that little quarter inch cut off already for you. If you want to, and I've put this in the pattern, if you want to go around and cut the other corners off, love your work, it's great. I didn't. A um, little bit of a time thing. I just um, actually, when I was joining them together, I actually just left it like that because when you go to join them, and so it'll go this way, when you go to join them, that angle, let me pull it over, you can see it on this one because it's dark and light. Okay, so you'll get that one will fit exactly because it's got the chopped bit over. But this side will overhang by that quarter inch. Now, the reason I have put it in there that you don't have to chop them, if you went and chopped that and it was too far down, right, um, yeah, you're a little bit short. You'll have to stretch your fabric. And remember, these have now got a bit of a stretch in them because they are cut with a little on the bias. All right, so you have to be careful putting them together. Basically what happens then, let me pop this back up because I could show you on the quilt. All right, so what you're gonna be doing, let's go up here, is you're actually gonna start right at the top with your border one. So you've got two strips in there. You will cut the red triangles um, out of the border ones exactly the same as we cut these, okay? They'll go on the top. That's the top row. The next row has actually one of those okay so you've got one of those and you'll start building it down now the thing is you do need to lay this quilt out and pick it up in the columns okay lay it out because if you're using some other different color it will actually throw it out uh, if you don't match the blocks so what will happen and I can do this oh, don't knock too much over all right so am I in shot here yeah so when you're doing this row you'll have that you'll start from the top and you just join them all down You'll be adding these in as you go. This one, you know, the next one will go that way and so on. Then when you join these together, because they match straight away when you join these columns, it's actually putting them in there. All right, so you've got two and you can't even see it. You can't see that seam when you're looking at it. All right, mm -hmm. you might be able to see a little bit, but you don't see it as much. All right, so you're going to do all the columns. Okay, so there's 12. So you do column one, column two, join them together. Do column three, join column three onto column two. Uh, just to let you know, um, because I've done all the mistakes. Uh, I sewed this one yesterday and I did the mistakes. So I can tell you what not to do. 
okay? Uh, when I put column two together, I actually put it together exactly the same way as column one. So what was happening were these were going the same way. Where you, if you look on the quilt, one goes up, where am I here? One goes up, right? And this side is like it's going down, okay? So what I had is I had this one going up. So I built it the same way. Yep, got my practice tool out, undid all the seams and had to put it back together. So um, I have done the boo-boos for you and I've made sure I've written them in the pattern so you don't do it. Hi Di, how are you? Oh, that's all right, sweetie, you haven't missed too much. We've just gone through the new quilt. We'll pop it up there again for anyone that's coming in late. So this is called um, Cube Play, right? It's just a, it looks it looks funny. It looks like that, what, I'm pointing to the screen, you can't see it. It looks like this block's bigger, but it's actually coming out from a shelf. So it's not bigger, it's just an illusion-y sort of thing. All right, um, let's see if that's gonna stay. It's not gonna stay, let me wind it down because I don't need to go back down. Um, thanks, Di. So yeah, so that is, let's put this down. Um, that's the new quilt. So no Y seams, guys, none at all, okay? So you're just putting them together and when you actually join these two triangles, Okay, the lighter shades, when they join up, they become the top of the, the cube, and you've got the other sides. Because they're the same colour, you won't see them. Okay, you might see them in a few of these because of the direction of the marble, but it just gives them a different dimension, I reckon. So that is the new one called Cube Play. They're getting really easy to show you how to make. Um, these ones, this one doesn't take that long to actually show you. So cube play. Do you like that one, Anne Marie? All right. So this is. Let's run through. So you, the, the, this real, I do have some for sale on my website. Twenty two dollars. Um, if you need one, but they are. It sort of makes it a lot easier. Okay. If you do that, I won't. I'll leave that strip that I took out of the kit. So I'll make sure I put it back in. Uh, let me just put them up there. All right. Let's run through some colours of the kits because I've made some amazing ones. All right, so you've got your little aeroplanes. You get them in the three colours. It's like in the quilt behind. Um, we've got it with the dark and light marble, and I've put the nice light blue instead of red. That's a nice grandson one. Um, let's see. I've done the same light marbles and light blue with koalas. So you're getting three different coloured koalas in this kit. It's just the way they fold. It looks like more. But you've got the three different coloured koalas. So that'll look cute. All right. Um, what else have I got? Oh, here. I'll pull these over. There is so many. Um, I just don't want them all. I've got them in a pile and they're all, you can bet your bottom they'll all go crash. All right, we've got the koalas again. And in this one, you've got, you'll see them on the website anyway. Um, I always thought that design looked tricky, but you break it down. It's, it's so easy, Gladys. Nice and easy one to do. It is a little one of those ones, like the uh, puzzle quilt, where you're working on the next row down. This one, lay it out and make sure you're getting the next column right. So you got the nice yellow koala in this one with the blue and the beige. So I've married it up with the orange. You make that orange as a dark. And you've got the yellow marble and the yellow binding, uh, border and binding. Um, then I've put them with the green. So you've got the green marbles with yellow for the koalas. All right. Um, the cartoon characters. I love these little cartoon characters. So there's three different colours of those. You've got the white, the navy and it's a beigey colour, all right? And that one I've got with the yellow and orange with an orange border. I'm gonna leave the best, well, they're all good, but I'm gonna leave them. Oh, hang on, let me pull them up so they don't fall over. Um, I think that's another koala one with the green, which I've, oh, with the green border rather than a yellow with the green marble, all right? We've got the aeroplanes with green, another grandson one there, Karen. Uh, I've got one exactly the same as what's up there with the red, okay? And I've got, here's two more. We have got the little cartoon characters with a purple. And when I say two, there's two of them, okay? So there's two kits done up with the purples. And here we go. The price. For this kit, it is $50, okay? So it's just a $50 kit for these. I have got it um, like normal, any new pattern, any new release. You guys here on YouTube or Facebook when you're watching me, live, get this exclusive. The pattern will be free for a week. So up until next Wednesday, it'll be free. 
then you will be paying just the $5 when you buy a kit. But at the moment, you get the kit for $50. That's a nice quilt, size quilt for it. Um, put the pattern up there, 57 by 54 and a half. Okay, because um, I did the pattern this morning. Uh, yeah, so it's, um, it's been nice and cool, and I've come out to the shop and it's a little bit warm again. All right, so um, they're $50 for the kit. They are on the website now. They went live at 8 o'clock, okay? But the treasure hunt will not go live until 8.30. So um, another thing that I have done to the website, you'll notice there's lots of little things happening on my website lately. I've been doing lots of research very late, early, late night, early morning research and changing things up on it a little bit. Um, it has the newsletter. If you did not get January in review, because February in review will come out in a couple of weeks, if you didn't get the January in review newsletter, a um, couple of reasons. One, you haven't subscribed to my newsletter on the website. You need to say yes, you'll get the newsletter. Um, but if you've missed it, it is actually on the tab that says home slash news. Hi, Sue Ellen. How are you? Um, home slash news. So you drop that down, it'll show you, and you can read the newsletter from there. Basically, it's in review because I tell you what you've missed. But if you're one of my groupies or you follow me really but really well on Facebook and Instagram and stalk me there, you'll know what you, what's happening. But for anyone who can, um, doesn't do the YouTube or Facebook, make sure you've got your email address in the website so that you will get the newsletter each month. Um, had that for a, had that, and I'm just starting newsletters this year. Um, I'm starting to get a little bit of a um, routine happening. Um, as of tomorrow. Uh, here's a little special hint for you all, uh, a little surprise. As of tomorrow, another shipment will be getting put on a boat. All right, so it should be on by end of the week, if not Monday or Tuesday. Um, so it'll be all uh, teed up. So each month I'll be bringing out a new fabric. I'll be highlighting the fabric each month. So we had dots and arrows. I know we wanted kids quilts, but that's what I've thrown it in. But we did the dots and arrows with uh, the, the quilt I had last week. All right, and that was your sidetracked one. Oh yes, Sue, I've been busy. Uh, yeah, Joanne, new fabric. Um, so there's a couple of new ranges coming out and you'll be able to, I'll just bring them out each month and we'll highlight them and we'll do different things. Marbles will always have a highlight button. Marbles are a piece of my heart. I love my marbles. Um, they have been a, uh, a great hit. Thank you, ladies, they've been wonderful. The marbles are something that highlight and can work with so many different things. So don't forget they're on there. Uh, another thing that I'll be doing over the next few days uh, is not sleeping. Uh, over the next few days is actually putting up some meterage of different fabrics. So any that I have that are, and this is not anything to do with Treasure Hunter or anything, it is the fabrics. So the dots and arrows, any of those you'll be able to buy as meterage. Um, these are layer planes, that sort of thing. Uh, me too, yeah, no, you know. Um, the aeroplanes, the koala, that sort of thing. I'll be putting them up. Some of them are limited to um, three, four or five meters of them. Yeah, I love the marbles too, Yvonne. They just, they just inspired me so much. I knew they were, once I knew they were coming, uh, that's why hence there's a lot of uh, patterns coming out with them and using them because they are just so much fun. All right, um, anything to play with fabric, I think we all love to do it. Thank you to everybody, if anybody's watching that popped into the shop in the last week, I really appreciate it. Uh, the shop is open when, um, I did actually have a sign on there on Thursday when I left. Uh, the sign stayed there till Monday. Uh, it did say I wasn't opening till Tuesday. I did take some time off, if you want to call it that, and just didn't open the shop, I was working out the back. So um, yeah, that's what happened. Um, yeah, the car's all fixed, I'm all good, nothing happened, just a little um, one, thanks to the towie that got me off the Pacific Highway, I was very, very close to the edge of it, uh, but there was nowhere else to stop, but I was okay. Alright, so that is the new one. Let's get through the treasure hunt, because the treasure hunt will go live in 10 minutes. Now guys, if anybody is new, treasure hunt, you actually, I have hidden a lot of things at very special prices throughout my website in the wrong category, not with the right description. Um, and remind me ladies near the end that if I do forget, I will give you the hint for what they are, uh, what sort of a theme I have put them under. I won't tell you yet, but I will. Um, if you are new. So, uh, little hint from everybody else that you, if you set up your cart and then go shopping, uh, put in what you want that's not in the treasure hunt, then go find the treasure hunt and add it to your cart and pay for it. 
Once it's in your cart, it's not yours until it's paid for. If somebody else gets it in their cart and pays for it first, it actually disappears from your cart. It is a thing that happens on the website. I cannot get around it. I have tried many things. I've asked lots of people. So basically, if you go in and find something and pay postage, go back and find something else and pay another postage. Guys, you will get your postage, the excess postage back uh, in a voucher. Now, if uh, you get over $100, it is free postage. So you don't have to worry about anything there. So once your cart has got to $100, uh, it is free postage. So uh, go and um, fill it up. You don't have to worry about it. All right, let's get through this treasure hunt. There is so many to do. All right, where will I start? Let's start with the kits first. There are kits on special. Now, as you know, I'm highlighting the dots and arrows, but other things sneak in, and these are amazing. Okay, we've got an unbreakable with dots and arrows. Uh, thanks for posting a photo of my quilt and the ladies have a copy. Oh, Doreen, it was beautiful. Your four corners with that checkered border was absolutely amazing. Um, I've got some, I've only got one more sharing time, ladies. Send some more in. Um, there we go. So you've got your dots and arrows. And that's with black all right just remember I have put them on the website where they're the price and then the discounted price so you are saving ten dollars will be will you be open tomorrow morning uh, sundowners yes I will be open tomorrow if the door is ever shut on my uh, shop please just shoot me a, a phone call or a message I'm only out the back and um, give me a call I'm only out the back cutting fabric okay so um, most of the time I'm in the shop in the mornings but you know there is the little break away to have some lunch or just a little toilet break the door shut so just give me a ring okay and it will be here all right let's keep going dots and arrows with a royal in a rectangle four patch we've got a stepping stones with teal with the lovely pastel twists it gets better ladies we've got a marble with royal now remember you do not need to make the two and a half inch strip quilt that this comes with you can just then put these in your stash you will have a marble two and a half inch strip and a blue two and a half inch strip in your stash at a cheap price. All right, there is a candy square kit. All right, there's a candy square kit that is up for in hunting. All right, these are in their bags already, but you guys know, I hope you're enjoying the postage now that I put them in bags. Organza bags are out. They're only here in the shop, so it keeps the dust off, but anything else, I, if there, it's a normal kit, I have put them in the bag. So we've got the jeweled path, marble with marble with black with the jeweled path. Love that quilt. Um, okay, you've got your square peg kit. Okay, that's a black and white with color. Good old square peg, haven't seen him for a while. You've got your sidetracked kit. That was the one from last week. My husband named it Licorice All Sorts. Oh, Doreen, what a great name. All right, so you've got sidetracked kit with the black and white with the blue marble. If you're unsure what any of these quilts look like, just Google them on my, uh, search them in my website and you will find them. We've got a Dots and Arrows in a Funky Picnic. All right, um, a couple of escalator kit kits. So the escalator with the marble and the blue marble. And I've put one in with the lovely little pastel twist with the light pink. That's also in there. When you receive that one, it will be in a brown paper bag. Um, but it will ask you if you want the pattern because I know a lot of you ladies have got my patterns. If you don't want the pattern, just say no. If you want the pattern, it will charge five. But it is, um, you can just buy this fabric discounted. Okay? Um, I have put an everything bag. Oh my goodness, have you guys enjoyed these everything bags? And the totally fun bag. Um, everything bag, marble with bright green lining. All right, so that will give you the option whether you want the foam or not, um, as well as the pattern or not, okay? Um, so that's the kits I've got on board. Now I'm going into the pre-cuts. Here we go. So we've got some 10 inch squares. Let's run through these quickly. You've got your ice spy, you've got your midnight twist, you've got your bright dots. Haven't seen them for a while, have you? Uh, found one in the back of somewhere. And we've got the dots and arrows, all right? We have got some fat quarter packs in dots and arrows. So these are normally $50, these are going down for $40, okay? You've got your marbles. Uh -huh, marble fat quarter pack, $50 down to $40, all right? We've got a one little two and a half inch strip, just 20 of them, normally 28, you'll see that, no. Yeah, normally 29, I think I put them for 20, I'm not sure, have to have a look, all right? Um, that was done, God knows when, <laughs> that was a three, four o'clock thing. Uh, pastel twists. We've gotten two and a half inch strips. We've got a dots and arrows in a two and a half inch strip. I have got a marble 42 and a half inch strip. $50 down to $40, okay? Then we've got our five inch strips. We've got the feathers and ferns. Found an origami. Origami's a fun one in there as well. All right, you've got your pastel twists and you've got your dots and arrows, okay? So that is what is on Treasure Hunt tonight. 
lots of great ones, all right? Um, it did feel like a whole page and a bit of my book, which normally it doesn't, so there's lots on here. Um, they are at discounted prices. Um, what was I going to say? There was another thing. Yes, I'm going to give you a hint of what they are themed under. I don't know whether you've all noticed when you go hunting for them. Uh, usually each week there's a sort of a theme to it. Last week's theme was, which I forgot to tell you, bling. What do you wear as bling? All right. Um, so this week, You'll be hunting for kids' toys. I thought because I've got the blocks. Let's do kids' toys, all right? Um, so that will happen. It's still got another four minutes or so before it goes live. Don't leave me. I've got some other great news. So the other thing is the classes online will be live very shortly. I will be updating you very um, as I go along. Uh, MBNs come in. The platform I'm going to be teaching from is great. I just have to get all the cameras, um, and which are big who is the cameras I just have the little webcams and everything I'll get them all sorted and I will be able to teach private lessons of up to 12 ladies so it's just for old 12 and gentlemen I'm happy to teach gentlemen um if you um it's just like as if you're going to your sewing class at the shop you'll be able to see everybody else I'll be able to see you we can have a chit chat we can do whatever it's our own private class okay so nobody else will see it um, the only recordings that are recorded is me, um, and that's what I need to have. Um, so it'll record me sewing, it'll record um, me ironing, it'll record me talking, as if I need my talking. Um, but yes, but it will not record any of yours, okay? So you'll be able to have your little breaks, you'll be on your own machines, you'll be in your own house. But all you have to have is your phone or your laptop with a webcam or whatever, and we can see you, I can see you for a change. And if you've got any questions or I can see how you're sewing it or if something's going on, oh, you're doing an amazing job. We can all sit and chat together. It's nothing formal. It will be something that I will be teaching. Um, that will be the formal side, but we will be having a little social thing too. So classes will be happening. I do have to set the website up a little bit more um, as well. We've got to have calendars on there and different things, and it's happening. So be aware and be tuned. It is not far away. Uh, there won't be another one. On, uh, I don't think Saturday weekend workshops will happen again uh, because the lessons will come in and I will be teaching on a Saturday anyway. Um, so we are going to leave this as workshop slash treasure hunt Wednesday uh, because I can do a lot more there. I don't have a webcam. Can you still participate? Of course you can, Mark. Use your phone. You got a, you got a camera on your phone? You just use your phone, honey. Um, that's all you need to do. Looking forward to the classes. Thanks, Dizzy. Um, I've been pushing myself to limits to get all this done. I've been researching, oh my gosh, I've been researching so much. Um, and I did not want to use one that gets put out everywhere. It had to be a private class. So I've actually had to buy a platform that it goes on and there will be a lot of announcements around it, okay? So be prepared, it's not far away. There will be classes very shortly. All right, so um, make sure you like, as you guys all do. Um, oh, thanks, Sue. Um, just make sure that you've got, um, and don't be intimidated. This is another thing that went through my brain, probably one, two, three in the morning or something that woke me up. I thought, don't be intimidated by how I sew. Um, I do have an industrial machine. I have a lot of comments that people say I sew very fast. Um, I talk very fast. I am a person that's got the energy. Um, love forward, oh, look forward, love forward to classes. Thanks, Yvonne. Um, don't be intimidated by it. It's not a case of who gets there first. Um, it's one of those things where you just sew at your leisure. Um, it will, I can actually, I've found a platform where I can actually have it live for up to 24 hours. And it's, uh, do one whole class, but it won't be going that long, ladies. Um, I'm looking at around about two hours, okay, with a couple of breaks in between, with a break in between or whatever. Um, but it will be going for two hours plus. So if we've got only 15 minutes left to finish it, we'll just stick in that room. It's okay. So I've found I, what I want to be able to teach to you, what I want to be able to have in the class is exactly what I've found. Don't have internet on my phone, just desktop computer. Marg, you can still participate, honey. That's fine. We'll just put a little icony smiley face up there for you. All right? And then you can send me photos from your phone if you need any questions about how you're sewing. We will work it out. Okay? We will work it out. We will all have fun. Okay? Um, we will have a chat box, Mark, so you'll be able to chat. 
All right, mum's telling me it's time to go. I've had enough talking. Night, mum. Mum's giving me the push off to get off because Treasure Hunt will be going live soon. Um, Mark, there will be a chat box as well that we will be able to chat with as if you can't have a camera, you've got your text. Okay, so I've covered bases. I've done that. You've got your hint, kids, toys. You've got your treasure hunt. You've got this quilt, this amazing quilt. It's only $50 for the kit, ladies. So cube play is what you're all looking for. Good night, Julie. Good night, Emery. Night, Zena. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and supporting me and everything. And I will see you next Wednesday for Workshop Treasure Hunt Wednesday. There'll be something amazing again. Night, Yvonne. Night, Marg. Night, Barb. And um, don't forget, stay safe and stay happy sewing and don't forget subscribe to the youtube channel hit that notification bell stalk me on facebook and instagram share those posts good night sue good night glennis thank you all for watching me and they are live go for it ladies go hunting and have some fun thank you so much um night everyone night dizzy um and everyone so have a fantastic week see you all later don't forget i'm always here i'm always approachable by phone or messages night nina night heather um, I'm just sticking here to say goodnight to everybody, but you can all go if you want and off to Treasure Hunt and go to bindyshq.com. Okay, night everyone. Safe travels and or stay safe and happy sewing. See you all next week. Bye.